Okay. Uh, how y'all doing? I asked a question and um, thing, but uh, yeah, let's get started with the stream, I guess. Okay, so we are beginning the new season here with your Long Island Ducks. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we made a couple of signings, including our best pitcher, um, Chang Yong Kim, now being all our best pitcher. Still really isn't that good. I think he went down a little bit overall from, like, he was originally a four and a half star, now he's a four star. He is 33 years old, so that's kind of to be expected, but, uh, whatever. Also, I think I might have to add some players to the reserves, because they're also, because they're also, I think, yeah, it doesn't let me do it. So I'll have to cut, uh, Sejong, so he's not really that good. And then I guess I'll also cut uh, Tyler Porter. So uh, sorry about that, I guess. If you're a fan of any of those two players. But anyway, yeah, we now begin this uh, game versus the Charles and Dirty Birds, or the team we actually took on last time, which I thought was a little bit weird. But um, yeah, that's the team we took on last time. We are overall the better player. They have Martini, who. Nick Martini, wait, what? Yeah, um, Nick Martini's with the team. As you can see, um, last year he previously played in AAA. And in 2021, he played, uh, he started six games in the majors. Yeah, he's pretty freaking good, especially considering where we are. Yeah, he actually started 37 games in 2018 in the majors with the Oakland A's. And I feel like I've heard of him. I don't think I have, but whatever. It's somewhat a tie between Starlin and Castro, but apparently I'm where Junior's better, so, uh, whatever. But yeah, besides... Castillo and Lugo and Martini were pretty much the better team. And hopefully their performance uh, shows that today. I've done a lot of streams, obviously, here because, well, I like doing them. And plus, I'm on vacation soon enough, so I obviously want to get this all done. We're going to send past this first inning, or the top of the first, I should say. But, uh, yeah, now Alec Mill is going to be pitching for your, or for the other team, the Charleston Dirty Birds. However, immediately you have Garcia getting a single, and now Castillo is up. It's going to be a, gonna be able to steal. I think he made it. Yes, he did. First home base in the season already for Garcia. It's going to be a deep, however, I don't think that's going to be good. He sadly did not. He did not manage to do that. Amora Jr., pretty good hitter last year. Although, yeah, that was not really a good idea, yeah. Two outs, now Beckham, he was a very good hitter, he got a lot of RBIs, um, however, they're just gonna walk him, probably, because they're worried about that, I guess. Now, Murphy, not, I, I, last time I checked, Murphy was not as good of a hitter, although, no, he did just put me to shame by saying that, because that was a very good hit. Oh, and, yep, he is gonna be home, I think. Yeah, okay, we immediately score, one nothing start for the Long Island Ducks. It's going to be another good hit, but it won't be able to get anywhere. And therefore, that's going to be the end of the bomb, or right, the end of the first inning. one nothing for the Long Island Ducks. Immediately, they score two, so definitely need another run here. As our team is pretty good, but we need to obviously show that our team is uh, good. 2-1, bomb in a second. And again, not a good hit right there. Two outs. We're down by one run. And that is, again, that just... Oh, no, he did actually get something in there, but that's only because of an error. Which isn't really at the fault of really anyone except for the defenders, so, yeah. And that is going to get through. Is he going to head to third? He will. Not sure that's a wise idea, but he did make it anyway, so. First and third. Man, man on the corners. I Now, that is going to drop. He's going to try. No, he won't try for the third base. Either way, we do tie it up at two. Still with two outs, though, which that, that was the problem last year. That we just couldn't really. It's like when we needed to when we needed to not get two outs, we always got two outs, and then we start doing good, which obviously isn't a good idea because then they could easily just take advantage of that. or Because then they could, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but obviously it's bad because if you already have two outs, they're not able to do as much as if you have one or no outs. Well, that's obviously pretty basic, but whatever. And Murphy is going to get out there. And now who's up? It's Razor Roll. 
Gratterall, I forgot, yeah, I called him Gratterall last year, it might be Gratterall, I'm not sure, either way, that's a very good hit by him, and that probably is going to be a double at least, and it is going to be a double, and Gratterall is safe, obviously, a double for him, now Hechevere, who was our big hitter last year, and I don't think yeah, that's not going to drop, so the option sucks, but either way, it's still a good hit by uh, Gratterall, Although they did go up again, so it doesn't really matter much now. Yeah, our pitching does still seems to be an issue. It's just not as much of an issue, I guess. Um, three two, we do have a man on first with no outs, so we actually finally got a hit without having to, you know, have two outs first. I guess you could say. And either way, it doesn't matter. As um, yep, three two, one out. I need this guy to hit something, and it won't work, and that's just going to be a double play to end off the, um, it's going to be a double play to end off the fourth inning. They haven't scored, however, still, um, down by a run, which obviously is not good. And that's not going to go, and they're not going to, yeah, no, that's not going to go anywhere. Let me see, uh, no one said anything, okay, that's fine. Um, Amor Jr., however, did just get a good hit that I kind of missed. Either way, it's only a single, so not exactly much. But one out, man on first. Gonna hit that one, but it wasn't really that good of a hit. Still a man on first, however, now with two out. And, yep, that's picked off. That sucks. Uh, Amor Jr. got picked off. So that's a terrible way to end off the fifth inning. Either way, however, was, yeah, we... I've had a lot of hits, we just haven't really been able to do anything with them, because there's already been two out. Which is an issue I've noticed a lot with our team, is that, like, I'm not really sure why, maybe there's, like, some hidden statistic that said that if your team already has, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but it hasn't really led to us getting any favors when I actually play the game. I'm guessing it might be due to how the um, in-game manager is doing it, but I don't really know how to manage in this game. Or at least any better than the... A than the computer would, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, yep. 3-1 pitch, and it looked like that was a pretty bad. Hit one out, and now call a field is up. For your Long Island Ducks. Well, I don't think that's gonna be enough, and it isn't, and that's gonna now be two out. It looks like they sub in Lakin Sr. And they sub in uh, Travis Lakin Sr., to go in for the Charleston Dirty Bird. That's going to be hit deep. However, it will not be able to be a home run. But still, obviously, a very good hit for us. He is going to hit the third. Will he make it? And, um, yeah, he did. And, yep, he has a triple right there. There is still two outs. And next up is Runny. It's Castillo, who has good power and good on it. But he doesn't have a good eye. And he doesn't have good enough speed, so they might. So yeah, this could obviously suck. And yeah, that is not good. Yeah, because these should, like once we already have two outs, and we have a man on third. It's always like there's always just a bull crap pop fly. And yeah, the game's over now. Uh, they scored like however many runs. Yeah, they scored like five runs or no, not four. I just can't count right now for whatever bull crap reason. And man on first, no outs. That is going to be a walk. And on first and second with no outs, we could still do something, I guess. And that's going to get through. Will the man head home? He probably will. And even though we, we probably already ran out, it is 7-3. to three. And we are the home team, which luckily means that we could still do something. And that's going to be a deep, but there won't be a good enough to really do anything there. However, it is going to be one out. However, it is seven to three with, and that's a pretty terrible hit. I don't know why we even did that. Oh no, we dropped it. No one even really did anything there because that kind of sucks. Whatever. Oh no, I don't think it matters because like it was a foul ball anyway. Uh, is that going to be gone? No, it's not good enough. He is going to, I think, at least attempt getting home, and he does. Seven to four. Um. We're only down by three, but then again, it's a little bit late to say that we're only down by three, because we're just down by three. Although, hold up, we could get something good here if both runs decide to head home, but 
No, it looked like not even one of them had it home. Yeah, none of them had it home. What the heck are you guys doing? For, there's two outs. There's no reason for you not to head home. Oh, and great. Who's up? Yeah, okay, you're fine enough. But, like, I need power. Actually, I need more so just contact here, probably. So, I guess that's fine that he can't really hit that far. Although, he did hit it pretty far there, so I'm not going to really complain there. Either way, I think we did score two, so only really need one more run. But now they sub in Ellis, who's a pretty good relief pitcher, so I don't think we're going to be able to get anything else out of this. Chris Ellis now here. Going to be it very deep. Okay, we might actually be able to get something. Uh, are we going to be able to, though? I think we have a runner hanging on. We actually have two of them, and I think that was in. And there it is, eight to seven. We probably just did very well, although we, although now, of course, we need to actually keep the lead, which is obviously what we want. And that's it deep. Is that going to be gone? And it is. Almora Jr., Albert Almora Jr. with the home run, 7-10. to The Long Island Ducks have probably just won it, but you never know in baseball. That 413 feet, damn. Um, yep, uh, Beckham is now up, he's a, another pretty good hitter, and he's gonna get walked there, bottom of the eighth, gonna be hit pretty deep, and that is gonna be caught, and that's gonna be in the end of the eighth, now all we really need to see is that hopefully they don't win, I might just sim the app and then will they win, nope, that is it, 7 to 10, a very bad inning after that, and the eighth for the Charleston Dirty Birds that pretty much ended off any hope they really had. For the runs, it looked like the one who scored the most was Almora Jr., of course, with his home run. I think that was the only home run he had, I think. That, was that the only home No, no, that was the only home run in the game, although Castillo had three RBIs, Almora, Almora Jr. with two. Same with Daniel Murphy and Lurie Garcia. This team looks really good, especially if we can do stuff like that. Five-run comeback. A very good way to begin the season here. For the predictions, we're still projected to tie with the Barn Stormers, which obviously, and York not too far behind, which will obviously be an issue. But, oh wait, no, what the name? No, we're actually projected to be very bad. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I was looking at stat. Uh, apparently, we're projected not to do that good, which I do disagree with. I think we could be very good. Um, yeah, but I guess that's about it for this, um, episode, or this stream, I guess. I, uh, hope you all enjoyed. It was only 14 minutes, so maybe we could work in maybe a game versus Staten Island, because they are a rivalry game, but I want to play the game in June versus Staten Island. But, you know what, yeah, well, let's just end it off here. I hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.